they reopened uh, Mount Amunum a few years back. It was closed for a long time, but now you can drive up here and and park and take a look around. So this parking lot right here that I'm standing in uh, used to just be uh, roads leading to, um, you know, barracks. They had a bowling alley up here. It was an Air Force base um, and had a different roads. We, we filmed a movie up here one time kind of freaky because it was closed down like an old ghost town but uh now it's open so i decided to come up here and take a look and and see how much it's changed it's a beautiful day out here and it's amazing how the trees and the landscape changes uh, when you get higher in elevation it's pretty beautiful up here to this tower reminds me of a picture that I have with my son. He came with us up here. We were filming and uh, he had his little, we, everybody wore these little crew name tags and he had on his little name tag. It was so cute. Tim Halpin, he has uh, an airplane, Contiki, vintage warplane. And um, we had met and he goes, are you doing any movies? And I go, yeah, we're getting ready to do this movie with, uh, I got Richard Lynch. He's coming up from LA. And uh, he goes, he goes, do you need an airplane? I said, no. Do you got one? And he said, yeah. And I says, okay, I'll, I'll write something in. And so that's how that happened. It, um, you know, he said, he sent me a picture of the, of, of uh, Contiki, beautiful plane. And um, so I said, okay. You know, it's on, we'll, we'll figure something out. The tricky part is, you know, we're here, we're on, on top of a, mo a mountain. There's no way to, nowhere to land a plane. So he, uh, Tim had to fly out of Watsonville, which is south of here a few miles. And, um, and we had, we were connected with walkie talkie radios. And the goal was that Tim was gonna fly by the tower. He was gonna turn around out there. And then he was gonna come back. And then he was going to turn around and he was going to, we had planned it. He was going to do it a few times. I can't remember the number. I think maybe it was uh, 10 or 12 times. And so we had to be ready. You couldn't say action. You couldn't say cut. Uh, you know, I said action to the people on the ground, but they had to go, um, you know, as soon as the airplane, you know, as soon as Contiki w was approaching. So then we went one step further and we put a cameraman in the back of Tim's plane, Michael Pame, who's also a friend of mine. He was... Uh, I think Tim hooked him up with a, a weapon. I don't know if that was, I think that was Tim who hooked him up with a weapon that he would shoot out uh, out the, the side window when, when the plane flew by. And that wasn't planned originally. And so that's the great thing about filmmaking is you always have to be ready to um, uh, add things in a moment's notice to up the production value. So that was kind of nice. So uh, thank you to Tim Halpin for uh, flying uh, Contiki. That was a pretty dangerous maneuver uh, but he felt really confident and uh, it worked out quite nice and thank you to Michael Payne. It's pretty uh, pretty remarkable being back up here after all these years. Uh, Richard Lynch who was in our film he has since passed away. Back then in order to get up here you had to pass through several gates and on our call sheets we had mentioned to certain crew members and actors meet us at the at, back then it was the Los Gatos Christian Church uh, now it has a different name um, but I, I said, that's where, you, that's where we're going to meet at a certain time. And then after 15 minutes, we're leaving and we're coming up. So if you miss us, nobody's going to come down to get you. Um, so they, you would actually miss the shoot day. And sure enough, I think there were one or two people that were late and they didn't get to film with us because they didn't get uh, to, the, uh, to the staging area on time, which is a shame because I don't like when that happens. 15 rifle. Magazine's empty. Weapon is empty. There you go. The stock you. is open. Thank you. Here we are. Top of the world. Rock bottom at the top of the world. I can remember Richard Lynch being uh, pretty uptight. 
And you keep the camera rolling, asshole, because from here on out, I'm making the movie. Get out, Vince. Get out of the damn car! You know, since it was, you know, it was a pretty low budget movie. And, you know, you, you can't, you, you can't afford, uh, you know, a, a catering truck to come up here. Every good director knows that when you make an action movie, you need two cameras. Do you understand? Two cameras. So we have to bring, you know, coolers and, and pack lunches and, and whatever coffee we can drag with us. Richard Lynch was a big coffee drinker. And um, at, uh, I think one of the persons that was late had the coffee with him. So the coffee didn't make it up here, and he, and Richard Lynch was not happy. Because yeah, whenever you'd say, hey, Richard, can we get you anything? And he goes, yeah, I want some coffee, hot coffee. I've worked in over 100 productions, and I can tell you this. You ain't got it. You go out and buy one of these silly-ass digital cameras, and you think you can make a movie. What are you, Mr. Hollywood? There was a scene in the movie um, where Rich Mui and I, we were running... Um, from the bad guys, and uh, we we ran around the side of an area um, here on Amunam, and then we went down the stairs and into a, a darkened tunnel. Um, we didn't have enough time to film everything, so we ended up filming uh, a really cool little scene with him and I in this darkened uh, tunnel. We, we shot that uh, underground pipe scene at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds. I wonder where he got the name Kentucky from. What? Kind of a cool name. So, uh, so what are we gonna do? Where do you wanna go? I don't know. Hey, give me your script. But what script? Your script. I, the script. Oh, I threw it away. You what? I threw it away. It had no ending. You threw away your script? Yeah, there was no ending there. So, you know what? I had to wing it to save your ass. You were supposed to get an updated script. I wrote an updated script, final draft that had an ending. There was all this action going up here on this mountaintop. And once again, you know, not enough time. Uh, we had to shoot Dan Conley. Uh, he's my producer. He was in the film. He gets into a gun battle. He's at a, at a location where he looks up and he sees uh, a view, a point of view of the towers. And then there's a gunfight. And he, because he's looking for me in the film and the crew. And so he's sort of, uh, in rescue mode and there's a little gunfight but that scene there was also shot at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds uh, um, they had an area that was um, very ghost town like it actually matched some of the areas up here at Mount Amunum so you could almost never tell the difference Richard thank you so much I'll see you guys. Hey, hey don't run into anything while he's driving. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for me once again. Uh, great memories up here. If you get a chance, uh, come up to Mount Amunum. Check it out. Pretty cool. I've been up here not even two hours and I'm already sunburned. So bring some sunblock and a hat. Later. Put yourself in the point of view of the audience. We're driving. I'm, I'm Richard the actor going to the set. This is the behind the camera scene, right? Correct? It's behind the scenes slash movie. I know, we know it's the movie, but they don't, the audience right now. You mean this is the movie? No, yeah, because we came in, there's guards with guns and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. See. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah.